and hello and welcome to another episode of the InfoBots Podcast. This is episode number 32, and I am your host, author Frederick Fishman, and today and every day, we are sponsored by me. So for links to all of my books, apparel, and gear, go to my main InfoBots website at infobots.com. That's spelled with two T's at the end. You can also help us out and show your support by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash infobots podcast. Okay, let's get started. Have you ever heard of sourdough bread starter that can be decades old but still be capable of being used as a base? to bake sourdough bread? Well, how about microbes that are 50,000 years old? Scientists have extracted them from giant cave crystals in Mexico. The stowaways may have survived there unseen for tens of thousands of years. Vastly different from all other known life forms, these germs indicate just how resilient life can be maybe even on other planets in our solar system or beyond. The microbes were found in the Nacia mine in Chihuahua, Mexico. They've been studied now for eight years. When found, these microbes were not dead, just surviving in suspended animation, perhaps the entire time. They were viable when discovered. If confirmed, These microbes represent some of the toughest extremophiles. Those are organisms that live in extreme conditions. Brutal conditions, extremely hot, like near a volcano or at a great ocean depth. The Nacia mine microbes came from 330 to 1300 feet below the Earth's surface, where temperatures can run 110 to 150 degrees. Fahrenheit. The new data shows that microbes can be quite hardy. Almost any habitat can nurture some type of microbe, and that's promising news in the hunt for life beyond, such as the moons of Jupiter or Saturn, or closer, even Mars. I want to add on just a little bit more to this podcast by giving you some definitions of some of the words that were used to develop this particular podcast so you know what's going on with some of these words. First one is astrobiology, and that's the study of life everywhere in the universe, including Earth and space. Crystal, where these microbes were found. It's a solid consisting of a symmetrical, ordered, three-dimensional arrangement of atoms or molecules. It's an organized structure taken by most minerals. Enceladus, that's the sixth largest of Saturn's 50 moons. Enceladus is bright white and covered with a thick shell of ice. Deep beneath that ice sits what appears to be a global ocean of salty liquid water. It also recently has been considered a possibility for life. An extremophile That's a microorganism that lives in conditions of extreme temperature. Jupiter. Jupiter is the solar system's largest planet. It has the shortest day length, only 10 hours to rotate fully. It's a gas giant. Its low density indicates that this planet is composed of light elements such as hydrogen and helium. This planet also releases more heat than it receives from the sun as gravity compresses its mass. And finally, microbe. That's short for microorganism, a living thing that is too small to see with the unaided eye, including bacteria, some fungi, and many other organisms such as amoebas. Most consist of a single cell. And we've come to the end of another podcast at Infobots, and I want to thank you very much. Again, if you want to support us, go to patreon.com forward slash Infobots podcast. So join us again for another episode of Infobots. Take care. (laughs) Bye-bye. (laughs) 